Meteorologist Jessica Birch and a beautiful last couple of days. Beautiful sunrise. So good morning oh, yeah. to you if you're waking oh, yeah. up to this sunrise. It's How nice is that? Stunning. It's chilly. It's mild. Okay. This is a great way to start the day. I will say this though. We've been talking about it all week long. A midweek cool down in full force. That starts today. It's going to feel a lot different off in those inland areas heading into this afternoon. 60s in the forecast. No longer are we seeing some 70s. Here in San Francisco, it's a cool and clear start to the morning. Seriously, such a stunning sunrise. I'm a big fan of this. Heading into the afternoon, San Francisco will only warm up up into the upper 50s, lower 60s along the peninsula. It's mild for us today. An official sunrise is actually within the next 10 or so minutes, so be prepared for that beautiful sight to see out your window before you head off to work or school. Now, here's what we're looking at this afternoon. Upper 60s off in those inland hills, anywhere from Antioch, even up into Napa for that matter. A lot cooler along the coast with an onshore flow today of around 15 to 20 miles per hour, sweeping in from the north. So these winds will stay consistent. Here we go all the way into the noon hour and then all the way into this afternoon, just around 3 o'clock. We can see wind gusts anywhere up to around 25 miles per hour along the coast. Lighter conditions off in our inland areas. And those winds will definitely whip up some of that tree pollen that we've been concerned about for the past couple days. Here's a look at our top allergens heading into the rest of this week. Mulberry, oak, and ash all throughout this week. We're in that medium to high category for our allergy forecast. So just be very careful. I've been warned and I have been stressing because I just ran out of Claritin last night. Now, take a look at this. Heading into this afternoon for our friends over in Redwood City. This is a beautiful day to get out there and get some fresh air beautiful forecast for the dogs to get out there also and come along with you. The concrete won't be too hot, so the paws won't be burning. Here's a quick picture that one of our viewers sent in yesterday of, from Sean Pickett, actually, of his pups out there with those lush green hills just off in the background. That was taken this week, and it has been lush, and it has been green, especially off in those east inland areas. Oh, it's been gorgeous after 17 atmospheric rivers swept through our area that you know, gave us plenty of showers. We're still well above average for the season alone when it comes to rain. Taking a look at this afternoon, if you want to head out to the Giants game, first pitch, 645. And just around that time, we will be hitting the upper 50s. Sunshine will quickly turn into cool, clear nights for us with 54 just around that 8, 9 o'clock hour. Now, here into the next seven days, we don't have too much of a change in the forecast. Sunny skies will stick around for us heading into this weekend. Temperatures will actually warm up for throughout the next couple days. Take San Jose, for example, 60s quickly turn into 70s once again as we head into Saturday. So there's that warm up after that little dip that we're experiencing right now. So some changes in the forecast, but we'll keep you updated. For now, Gianna, how are the roads looking today? Jess, if you need some clarity, I just bought some.